Hey everybody, it's Lance the Lush, and once again we're looking at the Thirsty Dog Brewing Company's Magic City Ale. Now Lush fans, I'll be the first person to admit, when I did this review four months ago, it took me forever to find this. Now if you go back and watch, I actually talked about that, to where I went all over the place, I ended up finding it at an Acme and a Growler. Now about two months ago, it actually came back out in bottles. It was actually a strong demand for it. I'm just finally now getting around to it. And Lush fans, I completely and I totally apologize for that. Now, I want to make note. Now, I'm doing a first tier on this particular review. Now, I'm looking at you in the camera right now. But I look over here, I'm actually live streaming right now on Facebook. So if I'm looking at you, the viewer on, on YouTube, if I look over here, I'm talking to Facebook, and you on Facebook, over here, it's vice versa. So keep that in mind. Now, as I said the last time, in 2016, the city of Barberton celebrates its 125th anniversary. Magic City Ale was, was created to celebrate this milestone with Thirsty Dog Brewing Company. Magic City Ale is an amber ale, most mosaic, and cascade hops. Cheers to you and to you, Barberton. Now, for the record, it is 4.5% alcohol by volume, and the IBUs are 13, and it says it's best served at 38 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, um, you're probably wondering, what goes on in Barberton? I pull out the trustee box. Let's see here. It is known as the chicken capital of the world. Now, I'm not going to go through it again. Watch the original review when I talked about that. Now, we're going to get right back into this right now because I said in that prior review, I wanted it in the bottle, and I actually thought I had to go on the first doll to get it. But you know what? I don't know how long this is going to be out because when they did the re-release, I don't know how many they made. And when I was in Acme a couple of weeks ago, I had asked about it, and um, they had said that they wasn't totally sure to themselves. So we're going to find out here. Put these um, right back over here. Now, in the bottle this time, I know you guys can't see it. There's a little bit of smoke, and I kind of already expected that with the low, low alcohol by volume and IBUs, but that's okay. And Mr. Clumsy got some more glassware. So congratulations to Lush for that, because I actually dropped and broke everything. That's why another reason why it took me a while to do another review. Now, I go for the pour. Just like the last time, it's actually pouring really clean. It's nice and it's smooth. You can see the, um, as you can see, I'm getting about three fingers ahead here. And I know I didn't go all the way to the top, and I tension didn't do that. I'm looking at, at it as good carbonation, and it's giving me that nice, not necessarily amber, but about that amber color. Now, I can see straight through to this camera, to the main camera looking over here. Sorry, Facebook, guys. It's something I can see through the, the webcam here. Um... The smell, I do get that smell of um, Cascade, but I get more mosaic more than anything else. And maybe it's just me because, you know, my allergies are actually clear today. Now, as you know, this is I'm revisiting this one, so I'm not going to really get into details, but I am going to talk about the difference by having in a growler versus a bottle. And I'm actually getting really good head retention on this. It's nice. It's frothy. It's everything I totally expected when I got it out of the bottle. We're going to have a little taste here, so cheers. Mm. Lush fans, I definitely get a taste difference. It's, you definitely get that bolder taste because I know in the growler they got it out of a keg, and I don't know how long that keg was sitting there. I didn't ask when I first got it four months ago. Now, um, what do I pick up now? I'm definitely getting that cascade. The mosaic is a little bit more, excuse me, in the background. Um, now, with the low, with this being a lower IBU, like I said the last time, this is one of those sit-down, conversational beers. You're not going to get hammered on this. You're definitely not. Um, hmm. I'm going to pour a little bit more out here. Now, to understand 
for you guys on Facebook and for you guys here watching on YouTube, go back to watch the re original review. The one thing I noticed when kegs and bottles and cans is all about aging. Let me explain why. Now in the keg, I know kegs are sealed really, really well, but there's no telling how long it sat there. Now, um, in case of a bottle, I know this is somewhat fresh because I watched him put it out this morning. Now, I'm going to put this down for a second just to see if I got a date on here. Let's see here. I got some coding here. Nothing there. I look up here in the light, see if I see anything, and all I'm seeing is more coding. Now, I apologize, Les fans. I'm going to look on the box just to see if I see anything. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. I don't see anything. And Lush fans, I apologize for that. I like to get some type of dating. I'll look one more time in the light over on this side. Just to make sure I didn't miss it. And I'm not seeing anything. All I see is coding. So Thirsty Dog, if, and I know I'm going to send you the link to this video. If you actually see it, maybe I'm missing something. Is there dating on that? Please let me know. Now, back to the beer. Now, in a bottle, like I said, I like to know when it's made, and a lot of reviewers or just regular drinkers that like, really like craft beer really like to know that as far as freshness. Now, cans. Cans are cans. I don't have to go anywhere with that. But that's a whole, the cans is a whole different ball game. And we can debate this to the end of time, but I'm not going to do that because we're talking about Magic City here. Hmm. Now, maybe it's just me, but I'm getting a little bit of floral, but it's so far into the background, I really can't tell. So, maybe the folks at Thirsty Dog can tell me in an email, and I got to get down there and do some on, you know, some on-site stuff. And for that, I apologize for that. But this is really good for those of you in Northeast Ohio and get your hands on it, get it. Now, um, you probably got to come down to Akron, to one of the Acme stores to get it. But um, hopefully, I'll get back into the beer trading side. For those of you that would be interested in it, please let me know in an email. Um, ooh, this is really, really good. You know, a thirsty thing with Thirsty Dog is, if you've never had it, try to get it. They have a really, really, really good selection. And this is one of them, even though this is one of the limited run ones. And I totally missed the Cuyahoga Falls one that they had. But, um, hmm. folks, I know I'm rambling. This is definitely better when I had it in the growler. Uh, but like I said, for a really in-depth description, go back and watch the original video. This is more revisited. But um, Lush fans, I'm going to get off here. This is the Thirsty Dog Brewing Company's Magic City Ale. And I thank you watch for those of you watching live on Facebook for watching. I'm going to try to do this once again, and I thank you for that. Um, and for you guys, like I said, for, for you here on YouTube and for you here on Facebook, this is the Third Star Brewing Company's Magic City L, and stay tuned for the next edition of Lance the Lush.